Hello and welcome to another session in mathematics. In this session we'll be looking at trigonometry and our focus will be on bearing. But before that, let us take a review of our previous lesson. Welcome back. Let us look at bearing. Bearing. Okay? When we talk of um, bearing, we are dealing with um, the movement of objects or the movement of um, human beings from one degree to another or from one cardinal point to another. We know generally we have um, four cardinal points, the north, south, east, and then west, right? So. We, we look at um, the movement of um, human beings from the north then round the globe okay and then we call that what bearing and we know when we talk about bearing we deal with what degrees degrees and remember um, the highest degrees is 360 degrees which is angle at a point then um, a right angle triangle is angle 90 degree angle on a straight line is what 180 degree now looking at this from north to south this is 90 this another 90 this is 90 and this is 90 added together it gives us 360 so if we talk of um, a man who starts a journey and then moves um let's say um 90 degrees we start from the north whenever we want to measure the movement of a man we start from what the north this is north and then we count 90 degrees this is the point where 90 degrees is met then you draw your line and then an angle is formed from here which is what angle 90 degrees do you understand so whenever we are dealing with um bearing we start from what the north and then move clockwise okay we start from the north and move what clockwise so let us um quickly look at um an example of um, bearing we have an example here on the screen it says three towns which are p q and r are such that the distance between p and q is 50 kilometers and the distance between p and r is 90 kilometer if the bearing of q from p is 75 degree and the bearing of r from p is 310 degrees find the distance between q and r and then the bearing the bearing of r from q okay so the first thing we need to do like i will always tell us is to understand what the um the instructions and then um, the um the information that is provided so from the information that is provided we are told that um there are what three towns and these three towns are um b q and what r so let us start um we have um this point remember we have north south east and west right like i told us i'm not going to use on um, this um alphabet okay so we are told that the three towns we have what p so let's take this point to be the point p and that's where the journey starts it says um that the distance between um p and q is what is 50 kilometers and then the distance between p and r is 90 kilometers it says the bearing of q from p is what is 75 so the bearing is what at p now let us start let's count them 75 remember i told us that from here to here is 90 right so let's assume that from here to here is our 75 we we'll draw it okay and stop somewhere there and also draw this okay so this point is 75 75 degrees and then this point this point too is um 75 degrees how many degrees is left in this um 90 remember this is 90 
this is 15 degrees do you understand okay then this line he said the distance between um p and q remember this is our q is what is 50 kilometers so here is 50 kilometer okay we've drawn this and it says um that the bearing of r from p is 310 from r to p is 310 we start here from here to here is 90 then to here is how many um we have how many 180 plus 90 again that will give us 270 and then we are looking at what 310 right so let's assume that 310 is somewhere here and then we'll draw a line okay and then join this to this and remember this is our angle what r and from here to here is 300 and what 10 degrees okay if this is 75 and we measured here to be this is um 270 270 plus what will give us 310 270 plus 40 so here is 40 and it means invariably that this remaining part is 50 degrees do you understand now okay so and we are told that this line is how many um kilometers is 90 kilometers 90 kilometers okay so we've gotten our r we've gotten our q we've gotten our p and then we are asked to find the distance between q and r this line and we are asked to find the bearing of r from q that is from here to here let's call it theta since we don't know the value okay let us start um let's call this small letter b let us start from this triangle we can draw something more beautiful so we now use this angle here 50 plus 75 will give us what 125 so we'll draw a triangle triangle um pqr do you understand so let's go over we have a um, triangle that looks like this and um, this is q and this is p and this is r and here we have the total to be 125 degrees and here we have it to be what theta okay this side is 50 kilometer and this is 90 so this is 50 kilometers and this is 90 kilometers okay we've now formed um, a triangle now the first question said we should find what the distance between q and r the distance between this and this q and r okay now um line qp is given line pr also is given so considering this now what do we use in solving um for the value of um qr which law do we use okay so at this point let's um remember that this is our small letter p why this is a small letter q and this is a small letter r so we are going to use a um, cosine rule so to determine the um, value of um, small letter p it will then be p squared to be equal to r squared plus um, q squared remember minus 2 times r p then um, cos angle at p cos p and then that will give us p squared to be equal to what's our arrow squared 50 squared plus q squared which is 90 squared minus 2 times 50 times 90 cos 125 degree is that correct so p squared is equal to 50 squared will give us what 2500 plus 90 squared will give us 8100 minus 2 times 50 times 90 will give us 9000 then cos um 125 degree okay so what do we have we have um p squared to be equal to 
this plus this will give us 10,600 minus 9,000. And remember, cos 25 is the same thing as um, cos minus 55 degree, right? And therefore, we have um, P2 to be equal to 10,600, then minus 9,000 times minus cos um, 55 will give us plus 9,000 and um, cos 55 degree. Therefore, P squared will be equal to this plus this. We have 10,600 plus 9,000 into um, cos 55 then is equal to 0 0.5736. Okay, cross check it on your calculator. P squared is then equal to 10,600 plus um, 9,000 times 0 0.5736 will give us how, how much? 5162.4. And then when they are added together, we have um, 15,762.4 as our P2, our P squared. So finding the value of um, P, our P then will be equal to the square root of 15,762.4, 15,762.4, and that will give us 125.5 kilometer. That's the value of what um, P. Okay, then the B part of the question, we are asked to find the bearing. Of R from what from Q the bearing of R from Q so from here the bearing from here to here how do we determine the bearing um, of this to this we start by adding this this is angle 90 right plus this we have 90 again is that correct then here is given to be what 75 plus 75 degree and then we have here to be what theta so plus theta so that is what we have here 90 plus 90 plus 75 plus theta so let's go over our b the bearing of um r from q is equal to is equal to 90 degree plus 90 degree plus 75 degree plus theta okay so what we need to find now is um the value of what um theta what we need to find is the value of what the value of theta so let us go back to the diagram okay now from this diagram this is the line facing what um the given angle so this is our opposite right and this line is the line facing the highest angle which is our what hypotenuse okay and now we are dealing with what angle 125 and what um this line opposite we've gotten the value of um, our p so therefore we are using sine which is so we are using what sine rule sine rule okay we are using sine rule for sine rule we then use them um, this is the side um p so half p over sine p to be equal to this is q q all over sine what q do we understand so let's go over so we have um, p over sine p equals q equals q over sine q okay let us start what's the value of our p our p is given to be what 125.5 all over sine angle at p is what 125 okay we have 125 degree to be equal to our line q what's our line q 90 kilometer okay so we have 90 all over sine what sine q which is not given which is given to be what theta so we have sine what sine theta okay let us proceed if we cross multiply we then have um, 125.5 sine theta to be equal to 
90 sine 125 degree. Therefore, sine theta is equal to 90 sine 125 degree all over 125.5. Okay? And then that will give us um, 90 times 0 0.8192. That is the value of um, sine 125 all over 125.5 so sine theta is equal to this times this divided by this will give us um, 0 0.5875 so to find the value of theta we then take theta to be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.5875 and then what do we have what do we have we have what 35.5 nine eight degree 35.98 degree so the bearing now would then be 90 degree plus 90 degree plus 75 degree plus what did we get 35.98 35.98 degree then if we add them together what do we have we have them um, 290.98 degree so we have 290.98 degree then to the nearest degree we have um, 291 degree okay you see as um bulky as it may look but it's very very simple if only you pay close attention to what we are doing so thank you for being part of today's class i know you must have enjoyed what we did so um before we go kindly provide the answer to the following questions on the screen welcome back we've done justice to bearing I will stop here today so do where to use the lesson note on the platform for better information on what we've just done and feel free to leave your questions and comments on the comment section till we meet again in our next class stay safe bye